What's going on everybody? Josh Powell here. We've got another episode of Amateur Pool. We're going to do some more pattern play. We're going to break this rack of eight ball. We're going to try to run out. So let's have some fun and get into this guys. All right guys, I always break with a second ball break in eight ball. I just like it better. I've tried straight on and I still do straight on sometimes if the second ball break isn't working and I'm playing a set. But I start right here at the diamond, move the ball out about one ball width from the rail Aim for that second ball as full as I can without hitting the one, and I use bottom right. My objective is to get the cue ball to hit this rail and go straight back into the stack. Let's see if I can do it. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Nothing fell. Um, all right, let's take a look at this rack, guys. What do we got here? Open table. Can shoot whatever I want. Uh, the 15-12 are in a little bit of a tough spot, and so is the two ball because it's blocked by the short. It's blocked to the short pocket. Uh, the four ball goes there, and if I make the four, that'll lead me to the two that I could shoot up here, right up here. That's pretty tight, though. Um, and also, I can make the two and then just leave the cue ball right in here for the seven. I think solids are easier here. Uh, let's see if I got a good starter. I can start on the five ball. What else do I got here? What else do I got, guys? What else do I got? I think the five ball is my starter. A little draw should bring me over this way, and I can either shape the one or the six. And uh, my objective right now is to get down here to this two ball because this is the ball that's going to be tough. Man, even making it up table, it's so close to the eight. I'm going to have to cheat it off of that rail to make it. So if I get when I get down here, we'll reevaluate that too. If I'm able to just bump it out, I might try that. We'll see see how the table plays us. See what happens here. So we're gonna start with that five, a little draw. We're gonna attempt to shape the one or the six. I prefer the one, just like that. Now we can make the one, then shape the six. Just checking on this three ball here, guys. I don't think it's. If it does go down here, it's super tight. And it does not go up that way either. <clears throat> so the three ball is going to be a bit of an issue as well. It will, yeah, it'll go down there. It's a little tight, but not bad. Not bad. So let's make the one. We're going to leave ourselves, um, we're going to leave ourselves right here for the six. Trying to think if I should go ahead and shape that one now or the three now. I'm just looking here, guys. I'm not, uh, there's no clear cut out here. Any way you look at it, you, you're going to have to hit some precise shapes. So um, let's move on. Get the one. Let's take a look at that three ball from here. I kind of like the three ball from here. I really do. Um, I'm going to have to draw out, and I want to come up. I want to draw out to about here. That way I've got an angle off the six to shape that four. I've got to get the good angle on the four to get to the two, though. Let's, let's reevaluate this. I want to shoot the six now, get the good angle on the four. That way I can roll forward and get my problem ball two out of the way. If I save that for any, any later in this rack, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble, so I'm going to go for it right now. Plus, I can make the three up here. Once I get rid of the two and the seven. I didn't get an angle. I didn't hit it hard enough. Story of my life right there. Story of my life. So now I got to, I got to figure out another way to get on that two ball. I could make this with top shape the seven from down here and draw back for the two, which is probably what I'm going to end up having to do. The seven also goes there, so I can make this with stun, come over to this way and make it with follow and come up for the two. Either way, it's going to be precise to get on that damn two ball. That two ball is going to be the death of me in this rack. I just know it. And I knew it right from the start, um, but there was no easier way, right? The, the, the stripes were even harder than the solids because of that 1215. So I've got to do it. I don't like it, but I've got to do it. 
I think I'm going to go for the follow shape. It might be easier. So I'm going to stun this one and get over to the seven. Ah, I got too much angle. Now my cue ball is going to be heading up this way. Oh, man. Oh, man. So what I got to do now is I've got to try to make the seven slowly and just try to roll my cue ball up into here for the three and then draw back for the two possibly. I don't think I can hit the two with this angle. It's too much angle. I'm going to be lucky to come away with a shot on that three ball even. But it's what I got to try to do. Oh, I think I messed myself from, from making the two up here. Yeah, the eight's now in the way. The eight is now in the way, I believe. Let me get behind it and look. If that eight's not in the way, I can make the three over there and just slightly draw and get back over here for the two. Oh, man, I think I can make it. It's super tight, and I don't like it, but what else do I got, you know? You know, it's about all I got, so I gotta try it here. Main thing is I gotta get good shapes on it, which is hard. This is a hard shape to take because it's such a touchy shot cutting that over. The cue ball's gonna wanna go and I've gotta control it. So I think I'm gonna try to run into the nine here is my best bet. If I use straight left, I might be able to get the cue ball to hit the rail here and bounce back this way but geez, I'm playing with fire trying to shape over here for that shot. Yeah, yeah, stay as planned. I'm gonna try to just touch this in, just give it a, a, like a touch shot, send the three over there with a little draw and come up into here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it though because it is a tough shot. Ah, shoot. If I wouldn't have put right spin on it, I would have bounced straight back up and I would have had the shot. But I put right spin on it and that hooked myself behind the 12 ball. Man, guys, I was so close. So close, you know? Almost had it. Almost had it. But that's the reality of my life. I don't run out. I run out a lot less often than I miss, you know? All right, so we're pulling out the jump stick. We're gonna attempt the same shot, but only with a jump now, so it becomes 100 times harder. Uh, the good news is I don't have to jump very much. I'm just jumping a little piece of that ball. Um, and if I make it, I should be able to get the cue ball to stay over here for a shot on the, the eight. If, it's a big if though. I tried to finesse that jump shot. Tried to finesse it, it didn't work. Ah, it's so frustrating to me that I messed. This is, this is my number one problem right here, guys. I see my trouble, I identify it early, I realize I have to get to it. I try to make a plan to get to it, and I end up with one shot that screws me every time. Either I shape it wrong, I don't hit it hard enough, that's the story of my life. That's what I'm working on getting better at right there. You know, the patterns I see, I can see the patterns. It's just execution. I need to be a little more precise on my execution and my shapes in order to avoid myself getting into trouble like that. So it's just practice, repetition. I need to get better with my shapes. We all need to get better with something. So this is my problem. It has been right from the start, right? So I'm going to actually... If I address this now, I'm going to run up into there. If I don't come away with a shot on the 12, I could be in trouble. Uh, so instead of doing that, I'm going to start with this. Stop it right here. That way this is open and it's not, I could be able to shoot this 11 from anywhere over in here. Um, and then when I stop this, my next shot's going to be the, the nine with top right. And then I'll come up and disrupt those. Just better chance of me coming away with a shot rather than getting hooked if I get rid of this 13 first. Now top right on this one. I'm going to hit it firm because I don't want to get stuck behind anything. That'll work. See, had I not taken that 13, 
Um, I would have had to shoot the 10 because I wouldn't have had this shot. 13 would have been blocking it. <clears throat> All right, so I got the 11. I'm going to play it with top. I'm going to try to come back right here and uh, just roll into the 15, leave myself a shot on the 12. That'll work. Hey, where are you going, Chuck? Where are you going? All right, so now I can make the 12, but I've also got to get out of there. I don't want to get my cue ball stuck into here because I won't have a shot. I've got a slight angle on this 12. You'll be able to see it. I'll switch to the other camera right here. Got a slight angle on this 12, so I'm going to use left spin and get the cue ball to hit down here and come back up this way. A little top left, actually. Go. All right, now I can shoot the 14 first with right spin, come off this rail back over in here, and I'd like to finish straight as possible on this 10. If I do end up with an angle, I need it to be down here, not up here. Because if I'm up here, then my cue ball goes this way, right? And I have no shot on the 15. If I'm down here anywhere, then my cue ball goes this way, and I can bounce out for a shot on the 15. So I'd rather hit this one too hard than too soft. Ideally, I'd like to be dead straight, but I'm not going to risk trying to get dead straight. I'm going to hit it a little firm. That'll work. Ended up dead straight on it anyway. Glad I decided to hit it firm. Shoot. All right, just a uh, nice slow roll shot. Follow forward a little bit. I should have followed forward a little more. Now I've got to go back and forth to shape the eight. So center ball, cue ball is going to hit here, back here, and then finish up over close to that rail. Because I don't think I can hold this. Pretty straightforward on the eight ball, guys. Straightforward. Buckle down and don't miss. Ooh, almost did it. Almost missed it. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, another pattern video in the books. Uh, sorry I didn't get out that first time. I tried my best. My best just isn't good enough all the time. Uh, but that's why we practice, guys. And I appreciate you spending your time practicing with me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want a short rail hoodie or t-shirt, links in the description. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.